Welcome to Miss Pam Reads. Today we are reading Mary Rightly, So Politely by Shirin Yim Bridges. And over here, Maria Monasquillo. It says, I don't like to shout most of the time. Mary Rightly, So Politely by Shirin Yim Bridges, illustrated by Maria Monacilio. Mary Rightly was a good, polite little girl who spoke in a small, soft voice. Whenever she asked for something, Mary Rightly would politely say, please. She always so politely said, thank you. And sometimes even, thank you very much. Mary's voice was so small and soft, she often had to say things more than once. My name is Mary, and I have a baby brother, Mary said softly. Mary, please speak up, said her teacher. Mary tried. My name is Mary, and I have a baby brother, she said, just a little louder. When Mary's baby brother was nearly a year old, Mary asked her mother to take her to the toy store. She wanted to buy him a birthday present. On the bus, Mary rightly gave her seat to an old lady. Thank you said the old lady. You're welcome, said Mary rightly, so politely. And she didn't complain when a boy stepped on her toe. In fact, Mary rightly, so politely, said, I'm sorry. When Mary and her mother reached the toy store, it was very crowded. They had to squeeze themselves in the door. And who did they find inside but their neighbor, Mrs. Giles? As her mother and Mrs. Giles chatted, Mary waited, trying to keep out of everybody's way. Oof, excuse me, said Mary rightly, so politely, as a handbag bonked her on the head. Oh, I'm sorry, said Mary rightly, so politely, squashing herself against a shelf to let a man pass. That's when Mary spotted a teddy bear. It was the perfect gift for her baby brother, but just as she reached for it, a pair of hands whisked it away. Excuse me, said Mary rightly, so politely, but the girl simply walked off with the teddy bear. Mary knew it was not polite to sulk. With a little sigh, she looked around up on the highest shelf she spotted a fluffy duck. Excuse me, Mama, said Mary rightly, so politely. She took her mother's hand and gave it a little squeeze. Mama, there's a little duck up there, she said. But before her mother could look, the duck was gone. Mary knew that it was not polite to sulk, and Mary knew that making a scene was even worse. So she bit her bottom lip and blinked back her disappointment. Don't worry, Mary, said her mother. We'll find something else for your brother. Then she went back to talking to Mrs. Giles. But now, when Mary looked around, the shelves were no longer full of toys. Mama, said Mary rightly, so politely. And this time she tugged her mother's hand. Just one more second, Mary, said her mother. That's when Mary turned and saw it. Mm. The little blue elephant had round pink cheeks, just like the elephants Mary and her mother had carefully painted on the walls of her brother's room. And it had a sweet smile like her baby brother. But just as she reached for it, a lady stepped up and took it. Excuse me, 
Mary rightly said Mary rightly, so politely. Excuse me, Mary said a little louder. Excuse me, but that blue elephant is for my baby brother. Oh, said the lady, I'm so sorry. She handed the elephant to Mary. Thank you, said Mary rightly, so politely. And I'm sorry for raising my voice. That's quite all right, said the lady. I didn't see you there. I'm sure your brother will like this elephant very much. Thank you, repeated Mary rightly. Her mother knelt beside her. I think it's perfect, she said. So Mary took the blue elephant home on the bus. That's a lovely elephant, said an old gentleman. Thank you very much, sir, said Mary rightly, so politely. Can I see that elephant? asked the little girl. Of course, said Mary rightly, so politely. It's a birthday present for my baby brother. At home, Mary ran straight to her brother's room and dangled the blue elephant over his crib. The elephant smiled down at her baby brother. Her baby brother smiled up at the elephant. Happy birthday! I really hope you like it, said Mary rightly, so politely. Maga! said her baby brother. I guess that means yay. I like it. <laughs> the yeah, he's got a big smile. So, the end. Thank you for joining me for Miss Pam Reads.